three big learning objectives in this particular section. We're going to identify the current state and problems within our workplace culture. There's a lot of studies and surveys and things like that that are out there, and we're going to talk about at least a few of them today and just try to identify some common trends and some common themes, and there's definitely a few of them. We're going to apply SHRM's four building blocks of ethical culture to workplace case studies. So we're going to be talking about how exactly you go about building a workplace culture. What does that really mean? And can you really sort of shift your workplace culture? The answer is, is that you can. And we're going to be talking about how to actually build that within the framework that uh, Sherm has talked about for an ethical workplace. And so I think you can apply it here uh, as well. We're also going to identify the eight ways to build workplace trust. If you're going to be a good teammate and you're going to have a good team, the big thing is, is that you got to have trust. If you don't have trust, I don't know how in the world you're going to have a good team. If uh, the teammates don't actually trust each other, what have you got? Uh, you're certainly not going to be a cohesive unit and you're certainly not going to be able to work together uh, day in and day out. And uh, you're probably not going to be able to accomplish very much. So trust is imperative. Trust is really important. And we're going to be talking about uh, how we actually build that uh, based on a couple of articles and some surveys and things like that that have gone out.